In this skill, we're going to be figuring out the pH of a buffer solution that's formed by mixing either an acid or a base with a salt. In this question, we're mixing 0.670 moles of hydrozoic acid, HN3, solution with 1.02 moles of barium azide, BAN32 solution at 25 degrees C. We're told the total volume of the solution is 1.24 liters. So we can see that hydrozoic acid is a weak acid. Meaning that it only partially dissociates to give H plus and N3 minus, which is the conjugate base of the weak acid. And we've been given the Ka for the acid here, 6.4 times 10 to the power of negative 5. We're also shown here that barium azide completely dissociates into Ba2 plus and azide N3 minus ions. So first we need to figure out how many moles of HN3 and N3 minus are present. Now, because hydrozoic acid is a weak acid, it only partially dissociates and our Ka value is much less than one. So we only have a little bit of our HN3 forming into H plus and N3 minus. So this is going to give us our number of moles of HN3. Now we also have barium azide. We have 1.02 moles of BaN32. And we can see that totally dissociates. And for one mole of BaN32, we get two moles of N3 minus ions. So we're going to have two times 1.02, which is 2.04 moles of N3 minus ions. We're also going to have a tiny bit of N3 minus ions from our weak acid, which dissociates to form a little bit of N3 minus. But that's going to be such a small amount compared with the amount provided from the salt that it's not actually going to be relevant. It's not going to affect this number. So for the moles of HN3, we said we've got 0 0.670 moles. And for the moles of N3 minus, we said we've got 2.04 moles. Now that we've figured out the moles of each, the rest of the question is exactly like the previous skill where we calculated the pH of a buffer solution made from a acid-base reaction. So our next step is going to be figuring out the concentration of each of these in our solution using the volume given and the number of moles. Here's the solutions page of our reference sheet. Our molarity equation is molarity equals number of moles divided by volume. So for HN3, it's going to be the number of moles, which is 0 0.67, divided by our volume, which was given in the question as 1.24. That gets us a concentration of 0 0.54 molar. Then for N3 minus, we had a number of moles of 2.04, divided by a volume of 1.24, If we put that in our calculator, we get a concentration of 1.65 molar. Our next step is writing our henderson hasselbalg expression for the pH of the solution. Here on the acids and bases page of our reference sheet, we have the henderson hasselbalg equation. Since we're talking about an acid and we've been given Ka, we're going to be using this version. pH equals pKa plus log the concentration of the conjugate base divided by the concentration of the acid. And our conjugate base we know is N3 minus and our acid is HN3. So that's going to be our henderson hasselbalg expression for this situation. So we can go ahead and fill that in here. On the top, we've got N3 minus. On the bottom, we've got HN3. 
Now we just need to figure out our pKa and then we can plug that all into our equation to find the pH. Remember, p means negative log of. So pKa means negative log of Ka. So we just need to do negative log of Ka, which we were given in the question, as 6.40 times 10 to the power of negative 5. If we put that into our calculator, we get an answer of 4.19. So our final step is to plug everything in to find the pH. So we've got pH is equal to our pKa, which we just calculated as 4.19, plus log of the concentration of N3 minus, which we calculated was 1.65 divided by the concentration of HN3, which we calculated was 0 0.54. If we put that into a calculator, we're going to get a pH of 4.68. And again, we can just do a check to make sure that makes sense. We had our concentration of N3 minus being 1.65, which is greater than our concentration of HN3, which was 0 0.54. So our conjugate base had a higher concentration and our acid had a lower concentration. That means that overall, this fraction is going to be greater than 1, since the top is greater than the bottom. And since that fraction is greater than 1, log of that whole fraction, log of something greater than 1, is going to be a positive number. So based on that, our pH should be pKa plus a positive number. So our pH is going to be greater than our pKa. And we can see here that's exactly what we got because our pH was 4.68, which is greater than our pKa, which is 4.19. So in this question, our first step is using the amounts of our acid or base and our salt provided to figure out the concentrations of our acid and conjugate base or it might be a base and a conjugate acid then we're going to be using the molarity equation to calculate their concentrations next we're using the henderson hasselbalch expression to write an equation for either the ph or the poh and substituting in the acid and base that we have in our question we're calculating pKa or pKb using negative log of Ka or Kb. And finally, we're plugging that all into our Henderson-Hasselbalch expression to find the pH or the pOH.